In this lesson, we're going to talk about counting methods and probability. So there are a couple of terms and equations we need to know before we go ahead with the practice. The first simply is, what is the definition of probability? So probability is just the number of outcomes that occur in a specific event over the total number of outcomes. So if I wanted to figure out what the probability is that I would throw a one if I had a six-sided die, then the probability would be one out of six. So the number of times an event should occur over the total number of possible outcomes. If I wanted to figure out what the probability would be of rolling a one or a two, then it would be one-third. So we write probability in shorthand as P, large P, probability of parentheses of A. And in the case of the first die rolling, which is, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out how many times I'll roll a 1, it would be 1 over 6. Now there's a distinction between theoretical and experimental probability. And theoretical probability is what the probability should be given the perfect conditions with no extraneous factors. So again, going back to the example, the probability that I should roll a 1 should be 1 out of 6. But in some cases, that doesn't always happen. And experimental probability is based on results that have actually been measured. So let's say I roll a die 6 times, and I end up getting a 1 3 of those 6 times. Then based on the experimental probability, the probability of uh, rolling a 1 again would be 3 out of 6 or 1 half. Now we see that the more that we, uh, the more events that occur, uh, or the more outcomes that occur, the greater the denominator becomes, and the more likely that experimental probability meets theoretical probability. But we need to understand the distinction between theoretical and experimental probability. The second thing we need to understand is that there are things called probability and also called odds. And odds and probability are very similar, but different in a very small way. When we talk about odds, what we really mean are the total number of outcomes, let's say, that are A. And this would be the same case in probability. Over the total number of outcomes that are not A. And this differs from probability because probability, the denominator, is going to be the total number of outcomes, both A and not A. So if I said, what are the odds in favor of rolling a 1 in a theoretical sense? It would be the total number of outcomes, which would be 1, uh, total number of outcomes that are A, which would be 1, and the total number of outcomes that are not A, which would be 5. So you see the odds in favor of rolling a 1 out of 6 would be 1 over 5. And that's going to be different than what we saw in probability. Now the odds against something happening are just simply the total number of outcomes that are not A, so just the reciprocal of odds in favor over the total number of outcomes that are A. And in this case, if I said, what are the odds against rolling a 1, it would be 5, total number of outcomes that are not A, which would be 5, and the total number of outcomes of A would be 1. So my odds against would be 5 to 1. Now the last thing we need to understand is geometric probability. And geometric probability is just a probability based on the ratio of geometric figures. So I could say, <clears throat> uh, if I were to throw a ball at this triangular target, and I had a circle in here, what is the probability that I would hit this area inside of this figure? So geometric probability is just talking about different figures and ratios of different figures and the probability of being in or outside a particular geometric figure.